Hello fellow explorers and welcome back to Seven Vlogs, where today we're delving into the rich history of the West Country with a focus on two awe-inspiring structures that connect the lands on either side of the River Severn. Of course, I'm talking about the two Severn crossings. These magnificent bridges have played a vital role in linking communities and facilitating transportation between England and Wales for decades. So come along with me, Ben James, as I embark on a journey through time to uncover the fascinating stories and engineering marvels behind these iconic landmarks. So first we're going to explore the first Severn Bridge, an engineering feat that opened in 1966, and its successor, the stunning second Severn Crossing, which began serving travellers in 1996. Get ready to be amazed by the sheer scale and beauty of these structures as we discover the ingenuity of the minds behind their design and construction. So buckle up and join us as we unravel the stories of the two Seven Crossings. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell to stay updated with our historical adventures. So we're taking you back in time to the 1960s, when the construction of the first Severn Bridge began. The vision of connecting England and Wales over the mighty River Severn was an ambitious one, but it was one that would forever change the landscape of the West Country. Building the first Severn Bridge though was no easy task. Engineers faced numerous challenges from treacherous weather conditions to the sheer size of the project. With the immense tidal range of the Severn itself, uh, work, working on the bridge was incredibly dangerous. The construction workers had to navigate the unpredictable waters, which often resulting in hazardous conditions and unfortunate accidents. Despite the risks, the builders preserved, and in 1966 on September the 8th, the first Severn Bridge was officially opened to the public. Standing at a whopping 445 feet and spanning over 4,162 feet, it was an engineering marvel of its time. But, as, impre as impressive as it was, the first Severn Bridge had its limitations. The traffic congestion on the single carriageway bridge became a growing concern, as the years passed, demanding a more efficient solution for the ever-increasing number of travellers between England and Wales. Her late Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, has been involved in the opening and inauguration of numerous significant projects throughout her reign before she sadly passed on the 8th of September in 2022. But one of the most remarkable ones is undoubtedly the First Seven Bridge. On the 8th of September 1966, the official opening of the bridge took place, marking a historic moment that would forever change the way people travelled between Wales and England. Prior to the bridge's completion, Enoch Williams had run a successful ferry service, but with the opening of this bridge, his ferry days have come to an end. For many, the bridge symbolised a bright future, one filled with increased prosperity and strengthened ties between the two nations. The ceremony was well documented with notable commentators and BBC's outside broadcast cameras capturing the spectacle. During the event, Her Majesty met the individuals responsible for the construction of this engineering marvel, including John Roberts, who had worked on the bridge since 1963, and played a significant role in positioning the massive sections of roadway. Another, another notable figure introduced to the Queen was the bridge's foreman, who skillfully coordinated the workers' schedules around the unpredictable tides of the Severn. From its opening in 1966 to 1996, when the second crossing was completed, the bridge facilitated the passage of over 300 million vehicles. It has become a symbol of progress and unity between Wales and England, representing a lasting legacy of innovation and cooperation. After its grand opening, the bridge has had maintenance over the years, and it's to ensure its longevity and safe operation. 
a team of skilled engineers and technicians will work tirelessly to preserve and monitor the bridge's structural integrity. Regular inspections were conducted to identify any signs of wear, stress or damage caused by the constant flow of traffic and the harsh elements of nature. We'll come on to that later on. Preventative maintenance measures were implemented to address any potential issues before they could escalate into major problems. The bridge's massive steel structure required periodic cleaning and repainting to protect it from corrosion and maintain its iconic appearance. These tasks were carried out by dedicated crews, often working at great heights and braving challenging weather conditions to keep it in top-notch condition. As we marvel at the beauty of the engineering feat of the Seven Bridge, we must also appreciate the hard work and dedication of these maintenance teams that have worked tirelessly to keep this iconic structure safe and operational for generations to come. Their efforts are a testament to the enduring legacy of the Seven Bridge as a symbol of unity and progress in the West Country. In response to the increasing demand for transportation though and to alleviate traffic congestion on the original bridge, plans were set in motion for the, for the construction of a second crossing. The second seven crossing, also known as the Prince of Wales Bridge, was designed to complete the existing structure and enhance the connectivity between Wales and England. Construction of this bridge began in 1992, hey, hey the year I was born, hey, hey. and it was a massive un undertaking that involved complex engineering and meticulous planning. The project aimed to create a modern and efficient bridge that can handle the growing volume of vehicles while improving journey times and safety. The new bridge features a cable stayed design with soaring towers and impressive suspension cables. It spans an impressive length of over 5,100 metres, making it one of the longest bridges in the United Kingdom. One of the most challenging aspects of the construction was the need to work around the existing bridge. Ensuring minimal disruption to its operations, the construction teams employed innovative engineering techniques and the latest technology to manage this complex task. With immense precision and skill, the bridge's components were assembled piece by piece. High above the estuary, the process required careful coordination and engineers worked diligently to ensure that every element would fit perfectly into its place. After three, after four years of hard work and dedication, the crossing was officially opened by His Royal Highness King Charles on June the 5th, Prince Charles at the time. In 1996, the completion of this remarkable bridge marked a new era in cross-border transportation, providing enhanced connectivity and facilitating a comic growth between Wales and England. Today, the original Severn Bridge and the second stand as iconic symbols of in engineering ingenuity and the spirit of progress. As they gracefully span the vast of the Severn Estuary, these bridges continue to serve as vital life lifelines. They connect communities and fostering unity in the West Country and Wales. Their legacy lives on as a testament to human achievement and the power of engineering to overcome geographical barriers. The design of the second crossing though showcases an impressive curve shape added to its architectural beauty and engineering brilliance. The gentle arc of the bridge complements the natural curvature of the Severn estuary, creating a harmonious blend between the man-made structure and the surrounding landscape. The curved design serves multiple purposes, both aesthetically and functionally. Aesthetically, it enhances the bridge's visual appeal, making it a striking landmark that is admired by locals and visitors alike. Its graceful lines and elegant curvature make it a memorable sight for anyone crossing the Severn. But from an engineering perspective, the curved design has its advantages. It allows the bridge to adapt to the estuary's natural contours, minimising environmental impact and preserving the delicate ecosystem below. The design also helps to distribute the bridge's weight more evenly, enhancing its stability and ensuring its long-term structural integrity. 
The curvature of the second seven crossing also has a practical purpose in managing traffic flow. The gradual arc enables smoother vehicle movement, reducing the risk of congestion and facilitating safer driver conditions. Overall, the curved design of the second crossing is a testament to the creativity and innovation of its architects and engineers. It stands as a testament to the harmonious integration, into, uh, yeah, integration of human in, in, ingenuity with the surrounding environment, making it a truly remarkable and iconic structure here in the West Country. The first seven bridge being a suspension bridge is more sus sustainable to the impact of high winds. In severe weather conditions, strong gusts can cause the bridge deck to sway, leading to potential safety risks for drivers and structural strain. So as a result, the first bridge has specific wind speed restrictions, and during extremely windy conditions, it does close to temporarily to ensure the safety of travellers. On the other hand, the second uh, seven crossing takes into account the challenges posed by high winds. So. The bridge's curve shape and cable state design make it more aerodynamically stable compared to the suspension design of the first. The cables and supporting towers provide enhanced structural stability, reducing the effects of wind-induced vibrations and minimising swaying in high winds. Thanks to these design considerations, the second seven crossing can remain open and operational in a wider range of weather conditions, including moderate to strong winds. This improved resilience allows for more reliable traffic flow and continuity of services even during adverse weather conditions, and that does benefit commuters and businesses alike. So the ability of the second crossing to operate in challenging weather conditions is a testament to the advancements in bridge engineering and design. It ensures a safer and more efficient crossing for travellers, providing a vital transport link between Wales and England. So there you have it, fellow explorers, there's the stories of the two iconic bridges, standing tall as remarkable symbols of engineering marvels and connecting the beautiful landscapes of Wales and England. From the historic opening of the first bridge in 1966 to the innovative design of the second crossing which opened in 1996. As we continue our journey at Seven Vlogs, I'll encourage you to unleash your inner explorer and dive into the rich history and breathtaking sights that await us. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more exciting videos on iconic landmarks, history and nature's wonders. Together, let's embark on new adventures as we celebrate the beauty of our planet and the incredible human ingenuity that surrounds us. Thank you for joining me today and until our next exploration, I'm Ben James from Seven Vlogs, bidding you farewell and looking forward to our next adventure. Keep exploring and stay curious. Bye for now.